Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor and I got my hands on some bronze fill and some brass fill and I got a story to tell about using them. Alright, so this story begins with a job. I got commissioned to make some medals for my local city for a fun run that they were having. And they didn't want to pay as much. They, it was a smaller fun run, but they said, you know, if you could 3D print these for us and make them cheaper, then we'll give it a shot. And so I priced it out and I went to go get my copper fill, which I had previously used to print this rather charming little uh, robot chess set. And you can catch the video for that elsewhere. But I, uh, I decided, I, I, I couldn't find my copper fill. I was looking all over for it. I have just moved, new house, and it was gone. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I went and ordered some, well, I thought I was ordering brass fill, but I ended up ordering bronze fill instead. And when it came, I was a little bit frustrated and disappointed at a couple of things. First of all, bronze fill is, is super heavy. I got the half a kilogram roll and it was way smaller. It was way smaller than a half a spool of normal filament would be. Well, that's because this stuff is heavy and it's measured by weight. And so the amount of weight that you get from this stuff is going to be a lot less actual material. So when you order it, be sure to take that into account. You, you order a kilogram and a half of this stuff and it's about three quarters of a roll of what you would be used to getting otherwise. But that actually made it very interesting for this project because these prints, while they are 3D printed, they don't feel like the lightweight plastic that you're used to getting out of a 3D printer. These feel like metal. They have a weight and a heft to them, and that's really cool. Now, it's also uh, an abrasive material unlike the copper fill which isn't the, the copper fill from Affinia that I did the previous video on isn't actually copper fill there's no copper in it they use these pearlescent beads so it looks shiny and coppery and could be polished but this stuff has real metal in it which means if you're putting it pushing it out of a normal brass nozzle you're going to tear that sucker up so I had to order a hardened nozzle and I had some trouble getting that hardened nozzle. In fact, it didn't arrive until after the job was done. So I ended up pushing out uh, oh, about two and a half kilograms or about two full spools of brass fill through a nor or not brass fill, bronze fill through a normal brass nozzle. And it actually held up to it. It wasn't until the end of that whole process that it started showing signs of wear. And those signs of wear being that you can tell it's not pushing out enough plastic. Things come out a little bit sparse and it's a bit, uh, uh, well, you get holes in your print like this. So when you start seeing those holes, you know, oh man, the, this nozzle has been widened and it's not pushing out enough uh, plastic to compensate for that. But strangely enough, my normal, I thought it was a normal bronze nozzle, actually survived a lot longer than I thought it was going to, which is good because I didn't get the hardened brass nozzle or uh, steel nozzle until recently. So I finished the job and it's looking good and I decide just as a topper since I've got some more of this stuff around I'm going to make a ring and I wore this ring around for a little while and found that you know the more that I, I polished it or the more that I wore it the better it started looking the more I just kept it in my pocket and it was very durable and it lasted. Let me talk for a second about polishing these metals. Once they print so here's here's it just plain as printed and here it is polished up and you can see there's a huge difference between them now how do i polish them well i use a rock tumbler and inside this rock tumbler i fill it with well i fill it with not the usual polishing medium i've heard people tell me to use uh walnut shells and i tried it it didn't really work even for this uh and it got caught in the small details i just didn't like the walnut shells no i filled it with brass which is you know cheap as free and easy to get i also have some brass screws in here but i just added some additional brass and what comes out of this is very much shinier than the print that goes into it now i did explain in my last video that i discovered that this is a little bit gilding which is to say even if you put a normal print in here it comes out looking a little bit shinier but like i discovered with my ring this stuff is straight up shiny 
if you just wear it down and brush it down long enough and wear it. There's a problem though. Apparently, wearing bronze turns my skin green. It's a strange allergic reaction, so I'm not going to be able to actually wear this around my finger very often, which is a shame. It's nice and it's durable and it's good. Now, like I said, I thought that I was ordering brass fill and I got bronze fill, but I was very happy with the way that the bronze fill worked. But then I finally got my hands on a sample of actual bronze fill. And, or not bronze fill. I got my hands on an actual sample of brass fill. And the brass fill that I got, of course, I ran it through my normal test print. And you might notice that it's falling apart. Uh, I always print this with two shells and no infill. That tells me how many more layers I need to put at the top. The supports came off great. The, the supports came off fantastic for it, but it's so brittle. Garbage can. Ugh. Got some in my hair, I think. It's it's just, it's a mess. It's There's no strength and durability to this. The bronze, the bronze fill that I used didn't have this bad of a problem of it. This is like eggshells. I mean, wow. Actually, that gives me a pretty interesting idea. Hey, protopasta people, Easter's coming up. You should sell eggshell filament that once you print, it's designed to crumble. Imagine printing an egg out of this and then dropping a part in before the print finishes so that on Easter morning, you crumble the print and get the egg out of it or the, the, the toy out of it or even use dual extrusion to do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. And it is pretty cool, but I didn't expect that from the brass fill that I got. Now, there are ways to compensate for this. More layers, higher infill, which you want to do anyways because you want it to have that feel and heft of a real print. So, you know, go ahead and, and do that. But even then, I printed another ring with it, this time out of the, the brass fill, hoping that maybe my skin wouldn't turn green with brass. However, while the bronze fill was enduring... This one didn't last an hour before I grabbed hold of a doorknob and it just doesn't hold up. Now this is not uncommon for the fill materials because you're taking two non-like materials and, and blending them together. And so the PLA goes around the metal parts and you know, it's it's basically PLA with Swiss cheese and that the, the holes are filled with little pieces of bronze. It's just not going to be stronger. However, the brass didn't have that problem as much as the bronze did. Also, the finish on the bronze, not the finish on the bronze, but the prints from the bronze. Here, I, I'll compare this. This is bronze fill. This is brass fill. And you can see they were printed exactly the same, fan on, everything set up exactly the same. And yet this one just came out looking like garbage. The The layer lines are obvious, whereas on the bronze fill, it, it prints just like PLA. It prints fine. It's easy to print with the brass fill. Maybe I could fix the settings and find them. Now, you'll notice that after polishing, the bronze fill is slightly more yellow than the brass uh, uh, brass fill, slightly more yellow than the bronze fill. But it's not enough of a difference that for the heft of making it feel like metal, I, I, I don't want to talk too bad about anything but so far, you can tell the bronze fill is not impressing me. Now, I did I did take and print a supporter tile out of the bronze fill. I printed that supporter tile for Moment 3D, which I'm going to take a second and give them a shout out because Moment 3D is a great little makerspace down in Las Vegas. They're doing a lot of cool things. You should check out their website. They've got the cutest little uh, assassin toy that they made that they printed in a uh, uh, multi-color process so it looks really good they do fantastic work check them out they're on moment3d.space or you can find them on social media moment3d space really cool and thank you guys very much for your donation thank you guys very much for supporting me i really really appreciate it now i printed their tile out i tumbled it in the tumbler and when it came out all of the tabs on the top and the bottom had broken off. Now the tabs on the side did fine, but where the layer lines were working along the length of it, where where the grain of the print was going along the, the long part, it just had no strength, no stability, and it snapped off. 
Every other material doesn't have that problem, but the brass fill does. And it's, it's kind of driving me nuts at this point. Now, I, I did go back and I took, you, you could see my chess set. I printed the diamond chess set and I'll have a link in the description to the artist who made this uh, uh, diamond hourglass chess set. Uh, it's a really cool chess set. I, I had to redesign the knight myself because I didn't like their knight, but the rest of their pieces I, I think are absolutely fabulous. Uh, I've got one of them in the tumbler here, so let's see it come out. Here's the rook. It's a beautiful chess set, and so I'll have a link to that in the description, but uh, I'm going to add that to my shelf. As far as what I'm going to do with the rest of my Bronzeville, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll print a, a Tabletop Day trophy out of it and then call it good. I'm not adding bronze fill to my collection of filaments that I'll have on hand. Now, as for the bronze fill, while it is a composite material and is therefore not as strong, the material properties of it maybe aren't ideal for a lot of applications, it does have a very good aesthetic property and especially with the weight of it, I feel has a lot of places, especially if you're careful with your design to avoid small areas that might snap off. Just give yourself a little bit more thickness than you might do otherwise and you won't be disappointed with how well this material works. I know I wasn't and it it just it looks it feels fantastic yeah at, th at this point I think I'm done with brass fill but I'm definitely gonna keep bronze fill around uh, as usual thank you very much I appreciate your support uh, just watching this video but also for all of my supporters who support in other ways thank you very much you guys are great you you are the wind beneath my wings as I always say safety first and I'll see you next time Thank you.